Howdy, friends. Oh, it's good to be here today. I told you at some point we would get some footage of the daytime in Pokemon Crystal, and here we are. Um, so far, we've only been streaming it with the nighttime filter up, but here is what the daytime filter looks like. It is delightful. Um, again, the good day. Good day to you. Um, thanks for being here. Um, but uh, we're going to pop up here because Kurt is actually going to be finished. Ah, I just finished your ball here. So Kurt made us a fast ball um, with the apricorn that we gave him. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a fast ball will just be better at catching faster Pokemon. A ball for catching fast Pokemon, absolutely! Um, so that's what we've got there. And we saved here last time because we have a battle in front of us. But let's do a little team recap. Really, we have our two team leaders. Margo, the Dunsparce, rocking that rage. Um, and then we've got Sinaiquil, the Quilava, <laughs> um, that was just doing some work against Bugsy with that ember. My wife, with her Miracle Seed, has done some work in Union Cave. Madam Webb was doing some work in the gym. Rocky, I really wanted to use more in the gym, but we never really got to. And then we have Volo, the Togepi, just kind of hanging out in the back. Uh, we haven't really trained him at all. But we are going to save because we have a battle with one resident red-haired meanie. Mm. Mean guy, tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Um, so, something about our friend here is that he has kind of a fascination with Team Rocket. And that's not, oh crap, he starts with a Ghastly. I thought he started with something different. See, my girl Margo, her only attacking move is Rage. So right now, she can only hit things that are not Ghosts. So she cannot hit Ghastly at all. Very happy to see that that missed. I really wanted to hit the Glare. Great, no prob, we're just gonna swap. Um, but again, Rocky also only knows Tackle. So Sinaiquil is great because our Mud Slap is going to be super effective against this Ghastly. It might not do that much. It does half. Love to see it. Um, and the Accuracy fell. Allegedly. Our Accuracy allegedly fell. Um, but uh, we have some Awakening, so we're going to use them because both of our moms are asleep here. Lick is very annoying because it can paralyze. Oops. Uh, but one of the good things that could have happened if that paralyzed is that if you have one status, you can't do two. So then Ghastly would not have been able to put us to sleep. So that could have been, like, sneaky useful. Um, so again, Sinaiquil just keeps growing. Just keeps growing. So next, uh, we have Croconaw. Now... What I'm probably going to do here is I am going to send in Madam Web. We'll see if I can get a poison off. Um, because this fight can usually be pretty tough sometimes. Um, because just at this point in the game, when the starter has like just evolved um, on your rival, uh, it's kind of like a pretty big power spike. Um, so this will probably do a lot. Don't kill us. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. So really what I wanted to do there was just get a poison off with Madam Web. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to swap into... No, I'm not. Um, I am going to use this awakening, awakening on Margo because once Madam Web takes this water gun, thank you for your service, Madam Web, we are going to go into Margo, and I think the combination of poison and rage is going to help us knock out this crocodile here. And then Margo can just kind of, like, ride her rage into the next fight. Even though lowering that defense isn't making me very happy, we should still be fine. Um, especially with that raising our attack. I think one more scratch, and yes, and one more turn should do us. I just see yeah, it. Great. 
Um, not seeing a critical hit there is wondrous. We'd love to see that. Um, so yeah, it's a wonderful day right now. It is a Saturday. It is around 2 p.m. for me. Um, we're just going to stay in with Margo here. Should be able to take out the Zubat. Um, we actually had some fr... <laughs> Gosh. Just getting some lucky hits on some of these. Okay. Uh, we had some friends over this morning. We made brunch. We made biscuits and gravy. Oh, baby. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Margo is one sexy little lady. Um, we made biscuits and gravy with them. And it was delightful. And then after that, we watched a movie. Oh, PP was defeated. Oh, <laughs> useless Pokemon. Very unkind, sir. Uh, you only won because my Pokemon were weak. More mean guy stuff. I hate the weak. <laughs> Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. Um, so yeah, he doesn't really like... I hate them all. Oh my gosh. So this guy's real edgy, really hates Team Rocket. Um, does more mean guy stuff. You're absolutely right. That's, that's like his whole thing, is just doing mean guy stuff. Uh, but he really hates Team Rocket. And I don't want to give anything away for the story, for those who don't know. But it's actually something that, again, um, we talked about in... I'll just do one for now. We talked about in Pokemon Yellow is that they do a pretty good job of not kind of telling you too much about some story that's going on in the background and like some lore that's happening. Um, but, oh, you know, of course, that's why you're here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's actually really cool. They really let you infer stuff um, in this game. All right, so here we are in Ilex Forest. I believe we bought some repels um, down here. Absolutely, we're gonna use one. And here in Ilex Forest, in one of our previous streams, I think last stream, we couldn't get past this tree that we gotta cut. What's this guy gotta say? Oh, my boss is gonna be steaming. The farfetch that cuts trees for charcoal took off on me. Oh, okay. Oh, it's too big, dark, and scary for me. So what we need to do... Oh, there's a bird. What are you? It's the missing Pokemon. Ah, oh, wonderful. Oh, but it's running away. Oh, no. So really what we need to do with this Farfetch'd is that we have got to guide it back to its owner. And it's really just amounts to a little mini game here. Hopefully I do it right. Kind of like a little puzzle. Uh, okay, so what we want to do is go around the bend here to kind of force it upward because the, yes, the effect of Repel wore off, so I will use another. Uh, yes, and if you recall, we can catch Pokemon here in Ilex Forest. Um, so yes, this Farfetch will just keep running. So really what you need to do is Farfetch, Farfetch will move a certain direction based, based on what direction you talk to it. Um, I do have to name a new Pokemon Rupert Grunt. I will definitely do that. Thank you so much for reminding me. Um, this, I always love this. Boop! <laughs> Just runs into the tree. Delightful little flourish there. Um, okay. Thanks a whole bunch! My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge, loser. Uh, just kidding, you're not a loser. You're a strong and capable man. Ah, my Farfetch'd. You found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? Ah, oh, I know. Here, take this. Let me teach you how to cut. The way that I do. And my useless apprentice can't. Um, teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Um, so I think... Um, I'm not gonna teach this to one of our main Pokemon that we're using here. But I believe... Ah, yes, my beautiful wife learns cut. So she is going to be our cutter, at least for now. Um, he also gives you free charcoal if you visit the house in Azalea. That is great to know. Um, so what? If I leave here and then come back, is he gone? Yes, that means he goes back. I'm definitely going to grab that. Thank you. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, perfect timing for Repel to wear off. 
We are going to go back into Ilex Forest in just a minute, but here we are going to talk to this fellow. And went to Ilex Forest alone. That takes Gus. Come train with us. Oh, maybe not him. Oh, maybe this guy. Ah, thanks, dog. That is great to have, because if you just saw what he just said, the charcoal powers up fire-type Pokemon. And wouldn't you know it, we have one of those. Our boy Sinaiquil. All right. Let's see. So now that we have that, we're going to go to Ilex Forest. It's very funny, actually, because I talked all about... Um, just pop a save right here real quick. Um, I talked a lot about finally having the daytime filter, and then we go into Ilex Forest, and it's still the nighttime filter because of, like, the thick canopy, which is really cool. Um, and a really good use of kind of, like, that day-night cycle thing they have going on. It really helps illustrate that Ilex Forest is, like, a dark forest. It's very immersive and cool. Oh, a great thing in this game is all you gotta do is just talk to it, and then it'll ask you to cut... In the first game, you had to go, like, into your Pokemon list and make them use Gut. That's just a good little quality of life thing. Um, but here we have... Excuse me. We have Ilex Forest Shrine. It's in honor of the forest's protector. Hmm. Very interesting. I'll just go ahead and tell you, because we can't do it in this version of the game that I have. Um, there is a special event that lets you catch the mythical Pokemon Celebi. And Celebi is the forest protector. Um, and what happens is if you get this special item called the GS Ball, Kurt, who gave us our Pokeball, he'll be like, something's weird with the forest. It's feeling like restless. And you'll see these trees here, they're kind of like swaying. They're kind of like the leaves are rustling. You're like, what's going on? So then you go to the shrine and then Celebi appears. And it's really, really cool. Um, they did release that for, like, the virtual console. Um, because they re-released this game, like, officially for the 3DS. I mean, a long time ago at this point. Um, but with that, they added the Celebi event, which was so cool. Because it was like playing a game that I had played a million times, but they added this cool new episode that I had never been able to access before. That was awesome. So this guy's cool because he gives you a TM. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun, here, you try it too. Um, so we get TM02 and you can teach a Pokemon headbutt. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and teach it to our girl Margo. Uh, because she will do very well with a nice, uh, another strong normal type move. Um, and this, the little tree right here that this guy's facing, if we say a Pokemon could be in this tree, want to headbutt it? Yes! You can, you can like hit it and see, sometimes you'll knock a Pokemon out of the tree. Um, and here we have a Hoot Hoot, but what's really cool Really cool detail! I love this! Hoot Hoot is a nocturnal Pokémon, and we knocked him out of the tree during the day! Therefore, the Hoot Hoot's asleep! Mwah! So great! So simple, but so great! I love that. Um, we actually already have a Hoot Hoot, so I'm not gonna catch one of those. Um, so, one thing that I'm planning. We are going to add another member to the squad. I was going to try to add them in Azalea Town, but it's very complicated because the the way the headbutt trees work in this game, and I didn't know this, someone on the internet figured this out. There's kind of like an algorithm or whatever, and it's based on your ID number right there. And based on that algorithm that your ID number creates, um, you can only find rare Pokemon. Yes, Rupert Grunt! Yes, Rupert Grunt! You can only find the rare Pokemon from headbutting trees depending on what your ID number is. Like, basically, that it imagines all the tiles on a map and like there are just random areas where you could possibly find a rare Pokemon in a headbutt tree. But the only place that I could find 
um, the Pokemon that I'm looking for from one of the headbutt trees is a little bit later in the game. So we're just going to get it a little bit later in the game. Still excited to pick him up. Um, but I really want to show that to you. So we are going to catch a Pokemon via headbutt tree, um, which is another like cool new thing that they added um, in Generation 2 that I wanted to show off for our run. And here we have another battle. We'll let Madam Web do this one. What up, dog? Um, but yeah, there were no rare headbutt trees in Azalea Town, which is kind of tragic because before the internet, like when I was a kid, we did not have that knowledge at all. So some poor kid was probably headbutting trees for hours and hours looking for these supersonics just keep hitting us. And I hate it. I, for one, hate it. I don't know about you, but I hate it. Um, but some poor kid was just headbutting trees for hours and hours and hours, being just like, where can I find this thing? And it was never possible to begin with. It's so sad and not fair at all. Uh, again, sometimes when we're battling with Madam Web here, we gotta skip through a little bit. There you go. Miss that supersonic. Miss it. Um, perfect. And yeah, I don't know if we'll use Madam Web long term, but I wanna, I wanna see her get, get a couple more levels. Maybe evolve, because I think she evolves at level 18, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see here. And we got that super effective with the poisons thing. I don't mind that. That just, oh boy. Okay, I think we can still knock out this Paris. We just need to be not fully paralyzed next turn. Nice. Love to see it. Good work, madam. Good work, madam. And something that you'll kind of find as we're going along, we actually don't, we don't have that many members of the squad so far. And funny enough, we're probably not going to have many more for the third gym. And I'm kind of, I think there's a hidden item down here somewhere, maybe. Oops. Whew. No, no, screw it. Um, but you'll find if you favor only like one or two Pokemon for the whole game, you can kind of break the game in a way that makes it, makes it a little less fun. So I don't really want to, um, I don't want to do it for the whole run. Um, cause kind of like Pokemon Yellow, I went into the Elite Four a little bit under leveled and it made, it made for such a more exciting experience. So I want to kind of stick to that. Um, we can use Rocky a little bit more as we go. I'm going to use another Repel just to get through this grass. Because I want to skip a few of these trainers, at least for now. And we can always come back to them. Um, because, again, there's only like a finite amount of trainers in the game. And I want to make sure that when we do add some of our uh, team members later in the game, there are more trainers to fight. I love Hoppip. Look how cute that little thing is. It's just a cute little weed. It floats around. Delightful. Um, Headbutt is actually a pretty powerful normal type attack. And as you can see, our girl Dunsparce is going to be able to really make good use of it. Um, because I think Rage only starts out at like 20 power and it needs time to uh, ramp up. Um, but Headbutt is 70 power, I believe, and it can cause a chance to flinch, which is lovely, and we'd love to see it. Um, and for some reason, Hoppit knows Splash. Splash is the move that uh, Magikarp has that literally doesn't do anything. Oh, wow. So that critical hit didn't even matter. Margo is just, just diesel. Um, okay, Bulbasaur is a little bit better. I am still going to switch train Rocky a little bit. Um, and thankfully for us, um, Rocky isn't really in danger of being above the Obey level. Because uh, that's up to level 30 now since we defeated Bugsy. Excuse me, I need a little drink of water. Mmm. Goodbye, Bulbasaur. It is pretty cool to just see a regular kind of random trainer with a starter on their team. Um, 
Because again, we didn't see it in Pokemon Yellow, but uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle are the starters in Generation 1. Now these cops here are interesting. I'm on patrol for suspicious, suspicious individuals. Um, those policemen Delightful. Um, those uh, policemen will only battle you at night, which is pretty interesting, because they're just like, hey, what's going on there? Um, um, and they use Growlithe, because they're kind of like crime dog Pokemon in the Pokemon universe, which is delightful. Um, a delightful little detail. So something we're going to do here um, is we are going to deposit our boy Volo, because um, we're not going to use him. We ain't going to use Volo. I'm trying to avoid using too many of, like, the super obvious Pokemon that you can use during this run. Um, I'm avoiding using too many of them. Because <laughs> I still might use a few. Because um, I really want to show off some of the more kind of off-the-beaten-path things that you can do that are still really good. Um... Slash, I really want to use a lot of my favorites. I, I planned, when I was kind of planning out what I wanted to do for the team in this run, I'm like, I just want to use a lot of my favorites more than anything. Uh, oh, great. So here, we'll go ahead and fight this guy, too. Um, I believe he just has one Pokemon. So I will start with Rocky and switch train him once again. Um... But that city we just entered is Goldenrod City. It is kind of like it's the big city of Johto. Much like Saffron and Celadon were kind of like the uh, the big hubs of Kanto. Now this Psyduck probably has a water attack and that can smoke us. So we're going to switch Rocky out here. Um, oh, it didn't even use it. I'd love to see it. Um, and here, now that I have Headbutt, I don't really have to depend on Rage. Uh, rage can be very strong, but it takes a little bit to build up, especially as you get later in the game. So we love having a nice, strong, normal type move to keep us going here. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba -da. So, we're gonna go down here, and this is the daycare. Um, and the daycare... What can happen is, what does this guy say? I'm the daycare man. Do you know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? Then fine, it's yours to keep. All right, so only in Crystal. They, do, they don't do this in Pokemon Gold and Silver. Um, but in Crystal, you get this item called the Odd Egg, uh, where I spend most of my time my current save. Absolutely probably breeding a lot, I bet. Um, so I'm just going to walk up and down a few because I want to see what our odd egg hatches into. Um, what happens in this game is that you can like breed Pokemon by leaving two Pokemon at the daycare. If they are of the same egg group, like of the same kind of like general species, they can create an egg and you can hatch that egg and it can have special moves, um, which is really cool. One thing I am going to do while we're here is I'm just going to scoot around the big mart here because, like, there was a big mart in Celadon City in yellow, and that big mart is now in Goldenrod. There are a couple TMs that we'll pick up from there. Uh, I don't think we can afford them quite yet, but here we have the World is a Cycle Path bike shop. Hmm, very cute. But as you can see, there's no one in here. It's very dead. And this guy says, I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. It's because you're, like, really kind of behind everything, man. So, this guy is just like, no one can find my bike shop. But he's like, why don't you advertise this bike for me? So, this guy just gives you a bike. And spoiler, spoiler alert... Um, what happens when you ride this bicycle? Oh, one thing you can do is you can register an item. So you can just kind of like, there's one item you can use that you can just kind of like, oops, wrong button. And now I'm on the bike. You can kind of like quick select it from your menu. I think you can even do that in generation one. I actually don't remember. Maybe you can't, I don't remember. But um, 
So now we can just get off our bike. You cannot, oh, thank you. You can get off our bike, get back on our bike. Get off our bike, get back on our bike. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, there are a few TMs there in the department store that we want to pick up. Um, I'm just going to look at our money really quick. Yeah, we can't afford them quite yet. Um, we'll have to fight a few more battles. But now that we are here, what to do next? Um, we are going to head on up here. Here's the flower shop. She says, have you seen that wiggly tree? Ah, we remember from earlier. We couldn't get out of Violet City that way because there was that wiggly tree. Uh, my little sister got all excited and went to see it. I'm worried. Isn't it dangerous? Ooh, I don't know. So we're going to have to pay that girl's sister a little visit. Um, and we also have the gym here. Um, this is the Goldenrod City Pokemon Gym Leader Whitney. The incredible pretty girl. The incredibly pretty girl. Pardon me. Um, Whitney is actually a normal type trainer. And Whitney is one of the more famous trainers really in all of Pokemon. Because she's kind of... She's very strong. Um, she has one... Her ace Pokemon in particular um, is really good. Um, and has like a very strong moveset. And kind of like an atypically powerful moveset, really, in any Pokemon game. Because usually they don't, they don't make the gym leaders too hard. They, they're, you know, they're a step up from your run-of-the-mill trainers, but... Um, her, her ace Pokemon is very, very good. So here we're going to use Rocky a little bit. And now that this Sentret's using Defense Curl, it's just going to kind of be... A slow tackle fest, that's why I'm going to speed through this a little bit so we're not getting too terribly behind. There we go. And I believe this woman just has three Sentrits. Um, oh, I actually don't, I don't think we've actually seen Sentrit so far in our run. Um, so here's Sentrit. Because when we started our journey on that first route, since it was... Sorry, I just shook the whole desk. Um, on that first route, uh, we start at such a cute little dude. You're so right. Um, on that first little route, we could only catch Rattata because it was night. But during the morning or the day, you can catch Sentret, which is kind of like the new Rattata of the Johto region, or Rattata, whatever you say. Um... And it evolves into a Pokemon called Furret, that I believe a, a trainer that we'll see later has. And this lady has just one more Sentret, I believe, but it is a bit of a higher level. So I'm going to go into our girl Margo. Take care of that. Um, I usually like to fight all of the trainers in the gyms, because these are trainers that don't um, reappear. Or, like, you can't rebattle them later in the game. Once you defeat the gym leader himself. Wow. Margo's headbutt is just destroying things. Again, like, Dunsparce High, stand up. Let's go. I will say that a million times on this run. Um, but, uh, so yeah. We're going to fight all those trainers. I'm actually going to come back after just a little bit because I want to do a few other things. So here we have the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I'm going to heal really quick. Um, but if we go up here to the left, here is a very important landmark in the Johto region. This black kind of tower, the radio tower. Um, and it's actually a little bit taller. You can't see all of it right now. I'll show the rest later. But here we have... Uh, a rocket guy, just kind of loitering out here. We're gonna we're gonna put a pin in that. Oh, this guy, it's like, are you here for the lucky number show? Want me to check your ID numbers of your Pokemon? If you get lucky, you could win a prize. Okay. Do any of my numbers match? Nope, none of your IDs numbers match. None of my ID numbers ever match. Um, I think if, like, all of your numbers match, you can win a Master Ball or something, but that's, like, almost mathematically impossible, I think. Um, so here, this lady. 
We have a special quiz campaign right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. So this radio card is really cool because it can kind of, you can turn on the radio and like change the music. But that is actually something that's going to come in big handy way later in the game. So, but you pick it up this early, which is really cool. Is there a Pokemon? So she's going to ask us five questions. Is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? Absolutely there is. Spoiler alert, I know all the answers to these questions. Um, is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at the Mart. That is correct. That's not always correct, but it is in this game. Let's see. Does HMO1 contain Flash? No, we just got that. It contains Cut. What are you talking about? All right, is Falconer the Violet Gym Leader who uses Bird Pokemon? Uh, yeah. We fought that guy already. And then, finally, do the Goldenrod Game Corner slots have Charmanders on them? I never actually remember this question, but just the way that the questions are, like, ordered, I always remember that it's no. <laughs> um, and that's, act that's actually funny, because in the first couple of games, in the first uh, couple generations... There is a game corner, and that game corner is supposed to be like a, like a casino. Like you can win coins uh, to turn in to buy Pokemon and uh, prizes, basically. Like you can buy a Dratini here in Goldenrod City, which is really cool. It costs a lot of coins, but you can. Um, you can buy an Abra if you want to train an, an Alakazam for the run. Um, I think you can catch Abra right outside the city too, but just buying it can be easier because they always run away. But I say all that to say, um, if you go to the game corner in later games, it's actually changed because they don't want to like promote gambling. So they like changed it to like, like a card game rather than like explicitly like this is a casino. <laughs> um, so there's that. Oh, and here's kind of like the rest of the radio tower it goes all the way up there. Kind of looks silly, but, you know, hey. These are 2000 Game Boy Color graphics. So that lady was talking about having a, uh, uh, a sister, and that she kind of went north of the city. What we need to do is we need to go up north of the city and we need to talk to that sister. I don't know if we'll get to Whitney today. We might have to save that for another day, but uh, let's keep going. This guy, he has a... Spiro that he wants to give you this Spiro to take to his friend because in this game you can put mail on Pokemon um, and it was the kind of the point of it is like you put mail on it and you trade it but since again we're playing on an emulator I never really use the mail anyway so that's not really something we're gonna do um, but really yeah in yellow you can get a gift Pokemon while your party is full but in this game you have to have like an open slot um, to receive that Pokemon, which makes sense, but it's kind of lame. So we can't get the Pokemon now. We're not gonna use it anyway. Basically, that's just a way to get a free Spearow. Um, a lot of people, if they're doing like speed runs and they need to fly around, they'll get that Pokemon. Mail never made sense to you. Yeah, you're sitting right next to the person. It's true. It's just kind of like a cute little thing, you know, but I, I agree. It's not anything that I ever really care to do. Um, but uh, a lot of speedrunners, when they do these run-throughs, will grab that Spearow just so it's a Pokemon that can use Fly. And it's a Pokemon they don't have to catch. They can just talk to that guy, get it, and go. Um, and so we're going to fight a few of these trainers on this route. Um, again, I might skip a few of them. Just so... Ah, Vulpix. Okay, great. So Rocky's actually a great matchup here. Um... But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the Spearow. We don't need to pick up that Spearow because one, we're not gonna use it, and two, um, if we need to fly, we already caught Hoot Hoot. So we can just fly with Hoot Hoot later. Um, so that's not a big deal. At least I'm pretty sure Hoot Hoot can learn fly. If it can, I'll come back and grab the Spearow. <laughs> so that's no big deal. Um, Flying, because flying is not anything you ever have to do in this game when you can use it and just kind of fast travel from town to town, but good lord is it convenient. Um, 
Yeah, Rocky's not gonna be too terribly useful for this gym, but one thing Rocky can do is tank some hits. Rock throws a good move, though. Happy to learn that. It actually would have come in great handy against that Bullpix, but what can you do? So those two trainers, we're not gonna fight yet. Da -da -da -da. We'll just keep my girl Margo out in the front. So if you skip those guys, you gotta fight this guy. That's just kind of how they're positioned. Um, but yeah, we're traveling up here. We're going to see what that girl's doing with the wiggly tree. Um, oh, today is Saturday. And there, there are so many, like, things and events in this game. They really, like, honed in on the, like, real world time. Um, to kind of, like, make it immersive. Um, so on, I believe, don't quote me on this, I'm almost positive, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, you can compete in a bug-catching contest at the park, the national park that we're about to pass. So I think we're gonna do that today, just for fun. Um... Because in this game, there's this really cool area. It's called National Park. It's kind of it's kind of like a like a Central Park area. I know it's probably based. Actually, I know it's based on a real park in Japan. I just don't know which one it is. Um, because Goldenrod City is kind of like. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, chat and commenters. I believe it's kind of like the Osaka of this region. Um, but, uh, okay, Diglett, that's gonna be super effective on our Onyx. We'll let, we'll let Wife get the kill here. Um, cause our Vine Whip should still do a great amount of damage. Um, so there's kind of like a central park of Goldenrod City, where they hold this, like, cute little bug catching contest, and it's really cool. Um, and there's actually... This is actually the place in the game where you can catch a Scyther, or a Pincer, which is awesome. And it's really cool to be able to get them early in the game. Um, but, again, we're not going to use Scyther or Pinsir because we're going to use a, uh, a new bug Pokemon that I'm very fond of. Um, oh, Nightmare is a pretty good move, so you'll always grab Kenny the Spear. Yeah, I get you. Oh, yeah, because that guy, when you do the errand for that guy, he'll give you a TM for Nightmare. I forgot about that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's very cool. So we might we might grab Kenya later. Um, all right, so there's a couple trainers here, and we're gonna fight them, or we're at least gonna fight this guy. Oh yeah, this guy's pretty strong. He's got two Magmar, which they're very low level, but Magmar at this point in the game is a very strong Pokemon. And if I'm not mistaken, they might know Fire Punch, which is again at this point in the game a very strong move. But nothing our girl Margo can't handle. Um, if it knows Fire Punch, it's being pretty silly because it's using Ember. Um, Magmar again. Let's let's let let's let Kulava get this one because we resist the Fire type moves and we can use that super effective Mud Slap. So that's lovely. Ah, this one does know Fire Punch. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, so again, that's why we switched into Cyndaquil to resist that Fire Punch. But, again, this trainer can get, like, pretty hairy if you don't have a good counter. Um, we have Onyx, too, so it's no big deal. But, uh... Nice to be able to just deal with him quickly with our Sinaiquil. And there we have it. Very nice. Okay. So let's move out of this guy's line of sight before he runs into us. There is another police officer that you can fight only at night. So here, usually this attendant is sitting right here, but he's right here, which tells you that it is a bug catching contest today. So we're gonna do it. I'm excited. Um, so let's see, today's Saturday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Absolutely, I would. Uh-oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Dunsparce, the first Pokemon in your party. So this, it kind of, the bug catching contest kind of functions like the Safari Zone did in uh, Red, Blue, Yellow. So you get these like park balls that are like Safari balls and you can only use one Pokemon. Ooh, the music changes. Um, 
So we get our 20 park balls, and basically, I forget how the scoring works in the bug catching contest, um, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to weaken them. Oh! Oh, I haven't heard this music in forever. Uh, the bug catching contest music is delightful. Um, so basically, you want to catch the rarest Pokemon without really hurting them much. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. Iconic so celebratory, you are so right. Um, we don't really want to catch a Metapod. We want to catch a rare bug type Pokemon. And in the bug catching contest, you can catch Caterpie, Weedle, Metapod, Kakuna. Um, you can also catch Venonat, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's just at night, but I'm, um, um, I know you can catch Venonat. You can catch Butterfree and Beedrill. Here's a pincer. See, this is one of the rare bug Pokemon that we want to catch. Um, and one of the reasons I, oh, Margo's actually weakened, I forgot to heal her. Um, one of the reasons that we want to, that we wanted to bring Dunsparce was... Okay, this is annoying. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Is that we... Okay, we're gonna try to catch, use a park ball here. Ba, ba, da. Okay, so Margo's gonna die, maybe. Let's try to catch... Let's try to catch him. No! <laughs> Dang it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna reset, because that's pretty annoying. Um, and I will, because I saved right before we went to the old bug catching contest. So I'm just gonna speed us back. Um, and I'm gonna heal Dunsparce this time, and hopefully we won't have such bad luck. Our first reset ever, you're so right. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I have not reset, I don't think, I don't think I reset at all in Pokemon Yellow. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's great. Speed through a little bit. Um, okay, we're back. So, uh, you can run into Butterfree and Beedrill, but the Pokemon that you want to catch in the bug catching, bug catching contest is, um, Pinsir or Scyther, pretty much. And again, one thing is that, like, you have this cool bug catching contest. All right, we meet again, Pinsir. Um, but you have, yes, you have this cool um, thing where you can maybe, like, showcase some of your other new bug Pokemon that you introduce, but you just don't. And it's like, guys, come on. Um,. And yeah, Scyther and Pinsir are really powerful for this point of the game, but we're going to use a different bug type later. And I'll try not to spoil it. But if you know, you know. Um, so now we're really just kind of speeding through here, and I'm trying to catch this Pinsir without weakening it. Uh, we might get to the point where I need to weaken it, or um, I need to maybe run away... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit this pincer with a headbutt, and then we're going to try to use some park balls. Okay. And as you can see, it's pretty tough. Yeah, the remaining HP thing, because... Nice! I'm not really super worried about winning the bug contest. It's fine. I just kind of wanted to show it off to you guys. Um, because really the big thing that you win by winning the bug contest is you can win a new evolution stone called the Sunstone. Um, and something that actually happens in the bug catching contest here is you can keep trying to... Oh, you can catch Paris here too. Another Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, is that you can keep trying to catch Pokemon. Like, let's say I wanted to catch the Metapod that we ran into. I could catch it, and I'm like, I'm still gonna try to see if I can find something better, but I wanna just make sure I have something to submit at the end. Um, but now that we have caught um, our pincer, I'm gonna go ahead and quit and be judged and just end the contest. You can keep catching, but I like I like having pincer. 
Um, but the big thing that you can win is a new evolution stone called the Sun Stone. And that, um, that evolution stone actually helps you get a new evolution for Oddish. Because in red, blue, and yellow, Oddish only evolves into Gloom and Vileplume. But in this game, if you use a Sunstone instead of a Leaf Stone, it can evolve into something different, which is really cool. Um, and I think a, a few other Pokemon evolve via Sunstone. We'll now judge the Pokemon you caught. Let's see. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was Bugcatcher Josh, who caught a Scyther. Ooh, very cool, Josh. Uh, let's see. Placing second was Camper Barry, who caught a Venonat. So you can catch a Venonat. I thought so. The score was 333 points. Did I win? The bug, con bug catching contest winner is... SCG! Yeah! Who caught a pincer! Very cool! I did not think we were going to win. That is amazing! The number one finisher wins a sunstone. That's a great item. This is the only sunstone in the game. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Um, well, I guess you can get more if you win more, if you win the bug catching contest again. They're just really hard to get, the Sunstone. That's so great! Oh, very cool. Oh, uh, give me a pincer nickname, guys. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I have a good one. Rupert Grunt. Oh, no, we're not going to use the pincer. I want to use Rupert Grunt. Okay, I, I have to I have to call an audible on Rupert Grunt. Because we're not going to use the pincer. I want Rupert Grunt to be on the squad. Can I defer Rupert Grunt until then? Clench, love it. <laughs> All right. Because um, he's a clencher. Um, okay, perfect. So the Pokemon was sent to the PC. Um, so that's so great. Okay, we are actually here on the side entrance. Oh. Mmm. One, this, this track. This track is so great. Um, so we're actually at the side entrance here. Um for the National Park. So it actually spits us out over here at Route 36. And this is where that girl is. Um, this track and Route 42 are my two favorite tracks. Uh, oh, Lake of Rage, yes! Oh, so good. Um, I mean, if I'm being honest, there is not a track in this game that I don't like. Uh, that guy looks just like you! <laughs> he does kind of look like me. Um, um, I don't want to fight this guy yet, so I'm going to avoid him. Uh, this next trainer we can fight, though. Because I'm pretty sure they only have one grass Pokemon, and Cyndaquil can wipe them out. Level 4 is very weak for this point in the game. Excuse you. Um, but yeah, we can we can fight this guy. I'm pretty sure, yes, he's just got one grass-type Tangela. Uh. <laughs> I just moved, like, the Tangela, if you're wondering what I did there. It looked insane, I'm sure. Um... So we can just hit this with some members. Oh, but it knows sleep powder. Don't put me to sleep. Okay, good. Um, so this is a quick little battle here. I'm so stoked that we won the bug catching contest. That's so awesome. I love that. Um, very cool. I'm also really glad that we were able to show that on stream, especially us winning it. That's so sick. Um, okay, so here is this, uh, this girl's sister. Hello, I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen, when I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked out of its disguise if you soaked it. I know, I'll tell my sis and borrow her water bottle. So basically, you gotta come out, talk to that girl, um, and he's just gonna wiggle. Yep, he's just gonna wiggle, and we are gonna... So what happens is, that girl goes back to her sister, and once you defeat the next gym, she's like, oh, you're great, you won the badge, you beat Whitney. Here, here's the squirt bottle, go see what that tree's all about. So that's kind of, you know, how you progress through the game. Um, 
And here we're gonna go back through National Park. Um, our stream time, it's kind of winding down here for me today. So what I'm gonna do is, there are some trainers in National Park. We're not gonna fight them yet. They're all kind of in the grass here. But there are a couple good items that we can grab. As you can see, there's an item there beyond the fence. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can go right through there. There's like kind of like an open link in the fence. Um, and you can kind of go amongst the trees here. Pick up a paralyzed heal. Sorry, I'm going to speed a little bit. There we go. And just going outside of the fence, you can get some really nice items. There's one in particular that we're definitely going to want. Um that I might end up teaching our girl, Margo, TM28. That is the TM for Dig. Um, in Generation 1, Dig is a um, base 100 power move, which is really strong. And here, if we go all the way to the edge, there's a hidden items. I always remember this full heals here. Um, in Generation 1, it's a 100 base power move, which is really strong, especially for the time in the game that you get it. Sorry, I'm going to speed through that a little bit. There we go. Um, but in this game, I think they lowered it to like 60 or 70, just to make it not too powerful, which I think is fine. Um, it's always good to kind of buff or nerf things that you think need a little bit of a change, and I think that did for sure. So here, we have this lady sitting on a bench... She's got her Persian, and she gives you a very useful item. Pay attention, please. Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. The Quick Claw. The Quick Claw is great. If you put it on a slower Pokemon, yes, sometimes it will let you hit first, no matter what. So basically, anytime you move using uh, holding the Quick Claw, um there's a random chance that you will be the first Pokemon to move in any given battle. So we're gonna give that to our girl, Margo, because Margo's not always too much faster than, uh, Margo's not super fast. Or is it? I actually, have, I actually don't know. Um, what is Margo's speed? 21, oh yeah, 35. I mean, she's, oh wow, she's definitely slower than Onyx. I didn't even, I didn't think that would be the case. So yeah. Quick Claw is good for our girl Margo, and that could especially help with Headbutt, because if you hit first, you can cause a flinch. Um, and we have this guy. I'm hoping we can skip him. Um, if not, oopsie. Nope. I'll just have Rocky here. So yeah, I'm just going to get us back here. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> so we'll fight this guy. I just know he has several Pokemon. He has a level 2 Voltorb. His levels kind of, like, go up as you go. There are a lot of trainers in this game where their levels are like, what? <laughs> Why is that your level? Um, but yeah, really what we're going to do is we're going to get back to Goldenrod here. We are going to heal up our squad, and then we'll save and end the stream there. We will defeat Whitney and move on in the Johto region a little bit later. And yeah, this one's a level 14. The first one's a level 2. Silly. Um, but, um, oh, what I was going to say. I was saying we watched a movie with our friends this morning. We watched, the, the movie that we watched was The Iron Claw. I don't know if you've heard about this movie called The Iron Claw. It is about the Von Erich brothers. They were wrestlers in the 70s, 80s, and they just have such a tragic, tragic story. Um, and I just bawled my eyes out. I cried so much at this movie. It was a beautiful movie. It stars Zac Efron, uh, Jeremy Allen White from The Bear, if you've seen The Bear. Um, great movie was the Iron Claw. I actually highly recommend it, especially if you're a crier. Um, so there's Juggler Irwin. Goodbye. It's kind of cute because he's a juggler. He's juggling all the Voltorb. Um, which is pretty cool. So those two trainers right there, and we'll save them. I believe we fought her. Um, there's a few more trainers on that route we can fight. Um, 
Oh, do I think I'll get phone numbers in this run? I... I might start, um, just to show it off, because there is something that you can do that I've been able to kind of cheese in the past with emulators, is that if you only get the person's phone number that gives you an item, when you restart your game every time they will call you saying they have that item, if that makes any sense. So basically, I was just not getting any phone numbers to just guarantee I could get like an evolution stone if I needed one. Um, but I'm looking back at the squad that we're going to do on this run, and I don't think I need an evolution stone. Yeah, I don't. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll start getting some phone numbers. That's something that you can do. Um, Daylight Savings Trick with Mom. Uh, we got that going. We got that going. She got us our super potion already. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I might start getting some people's phone numbers. Um, they can call you back. They can call you after your battle and challenge you to another battle. It's really cute. Um, so, folks, um, I'm going to skewed on up to the gym just so I remember that's where we're going next. So for this, uh, we'll go ahead and save. We'll call it here. I'm so happy we were able to win the bug catching contest. Um, really great to be here with you on a Saturday. I always say Saturday. Uh, Saturdays are uh, some of my favorite gaming days, so... It's great to uh, be here streaming with you. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching it after the fact. Um, and thanks for chatting with me. It's been so lovely. I love this game. See you next time. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, with that, we will fight Whitney on our next stream. Peace out.